taking on Adrian Hayes. <clears throat> Let's meet Adrian Hayes. Let's go to Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the cage, Adrian Hayes. Adrian Hayes, the demon. Adrian Hayes comes in with an undefeated record of one win, no losses from Gracie Decatur out of Miller County, Georgia. And, uh, you know, Adrian has got quite a fan base here tonight, yeah. too. Got a lot of tickets sold as he gets ready to put that undefeated record on the line here tonight against Quitavius Marshall. Yes, like, so with Adrian, man, it's kind of like these guys nowadays have the almost a prototype body for an MMA fighter. Like, a lot of people are looking at John Jones and how his body type, they have the same type of body type, especially at a younger age he is. But uh, a lot of people don't realize how strong these guys are and, and how they can use their length. You know? so, but if you look at this, you got a 6 2 with Demon. So you know he probably has a little bit longer reach than the 5 10 Marshall there, right? So. Yeah, of course. And he's coached by Jason Brock there mm -hmm. at, uh, at, at Gracie Decatur. And, uh, you know, he's taking on a really tough task in his second bout yes. in uh, Quintavious Marshall, who we'll talk about a little bit more at length here in just a moment as soon as the Demon, Adrian Hayes. Yeah enters the cage as he uh, crawls into the cage right now yes. in front of us. <laughs> yeah. Take this time. He's ready to go. Oh, yeah. yeah. War cry That's from right. Adrian Hayes. Nice. Right. There we go. Bouncing off the ropes. <laughs> and with that, let's meet. Wait, they're, high, they're fired up in here tonight, Sam. <laughs> let's meet his opponent now. And now, please tell me welcome to the cage. Quintavious B. Nobu. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I yes. think it may be some anime related thing. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm Hopefully, not, I'm not wrong. I'm not sure either. <laughs> Quintavious B. Nobu Marshall, 1 0. Uh, actually, doesn't claim uh, a gym yeah. or a coach on this one, but a very well respected black belt yes. is Quintavious Marshall. Very highly decorated in the uh, very. Uh, a competitive grappling circuit, yes. a professional grappling circuit. Mm -hmm. Out there winning money and cashing checks, uh, choking fools out. But tonight, he's going to look to improve his MMA record yes. to 2 and 0 as uh, Quintavious Marshall, uh, 26 years old, 5 foot 10, out of Milledgeville, Georgia, just right down the road here from Macon. Yes. And again, like you, you see these guys with the, the right body type coming in <laughs> and the respect for the sport, of course, coming in. <clears throat> And Both they, these guys are characters, too. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be a good fight. It'll show in their fight as well. Yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it looked like maybe there was a little bit of, uh, I don't want to say heat, but there was uh, these guys, I think they're definitely game to fight each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go to Jeff Hobbs. Let's meet him a little bit more yeah. detailed here. Ladies and gentlemen, your next battle of the evening is sponsored by Rush MMA. It's in the welterweight division and scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Your first fighter, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 171.4 pounds. He has a record of one win with no losses. He's representing Gracie Decatur and fighting out of Miller County, Georgia. This is the demon, Adrian Hayes. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 170.5 pounds. He also holds a record of one win with no losses. He's representing Milledgeville Martial Arts out of Milledgeville, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Quintavious Vinabu Marshall. Both of these guys, very charismatic, Sam. Yes, yeah, very charismatic. <laughs> We've got uh, Hayes in the black. We've got uh, Marshall in the red. Yes. And uh, they're getting ready to throw down three three-minute rounds. Welterweight action brought to you by Rush MMA. Let's get it going. I'm very excited to see the different body types that they have and uh, to see how they both approach each other. One very long mm -hmm. and slender, one a little bit shorter and stockier. Yeah. So, but still, let's see. Right, Referee Brent McKeon here. Immediately showing some hands as Marshall. Relax, relax, relax. Definitely puts the pressure on, throwing the punches. And for Maybe me, that's what I was most curious to see was what the striking was like yeah. in Marshall. We know he's a grappler. Oh, he goes for the, like the standing guillotine here. 
It's not as tight. What's the name is doing a good job. It's doing a great nice job. job. And finally able to get the sweep there. Oh, yeah, going for an arm bar. Slick here. And Marshall. Attacking these submissions. Yes. But, uh, you know, Hayes is Hayes scrambling nice. around. Yeah. Trying to take his back now. Marshall is like a spider monkey on him. Marshall going from uh, submission to submission here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got a couple good corners over here. Moon Cosme hey. in his corner, Cam yes. Wallace. Hey, patience, patience. Trying to work and get those hooks in. Working for that choke. Yep. Adrian is doing a good job to hand fight and mm -hmm. trying to turn his body in. Turn the body in. Turn the body in. Marshall. Uh, switch to the other hand. There you go. Good job. Marshall definitely in a very dominant position here. Hayes mm -hmm. fighting valiantly, but yeah. man, this is a tough action with a black belt like Marshall on your back. And, and the key is, is, is the hand fight and then try to keep turning. But if you don't get that, it looks like you might be. Softened up that body there. there. Go, Big yes. body shots Ooh, from Marshall. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> But Hayes is not going to go away easy, man. No. He, he's, he's hand fighting, like you said, very well, trying to turn yeah. into him, try to step by step work his way out of this. Yes. Halfway through the first. Don't sit too high. You got it, man. Now, no, again, this is another amateur bout under, yes. that are not advanced amateur rules. So uh, you're not able to ground and pound to the head, not able to strike to the head yeah. on the ground. Hey, you can body try Which so would get, probably open that choke up a lot easier. Yes, it would. Yeah, it would. Definitely would. You can punch that head a little bit. Definitely get that choke in. He's doing a good job fighting for it. Both gentlemen are doing a great job hand fighting him. He's got, now he's got the body triangle, Marshall does. One minute to go in this opening round set for three. And we are uh, almost to the halfway mark of this evening. A lot of good action to go, though. Three big pro fights uh, slated just a little bit later. We've got a big 135 title fight for the NFC Georgia State title that I can promise is going to be awesome. And you hear, um, you can hear Marshall's corner in my mic here. You can hear him like coaching and trying to help him with the transition. Marshall doing a great job trying to listen and make the transition. Yeah, yeah. He looks over his corner. You can tell he's yeah. paying attention. Just softening that body up, man. Yeah. The tenderizer. And when, when he's trying to do it, squeezed. If he can keep him on the back and just keep squeezing without the, the body lock he has. No. No. Question, Sam. How many of these unanswered body blows would it take? I'm from Tennessee, so like, uh, how many of these will? Add to a TKO on, on the ground. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure what the, the TKO like. It, it, it's on the the rest discretion, but I don't see anyone stopping the fight for the body unless a guy taps out. Yeah, yeah. So there is the bell. Great job by Hayes for surviving in yes. a bad position for the majority of the round. Yes. I don't think there's any question that that was Marshall's round, yeah. but I think there was probably uh, a few people holding their breath out there early that he might find that sub, uh, which he wasn't ever able to do. So here's the replay. As you can see right here, Marshall gets gets the nice like, sweep, I guess you want to call it, down there from the guillotine has. Tried to transition to the armbar, but not able to get the right leg over before he turns into his body to the guard. So a good scramble by both gentlemen, and there, there you go. Well, you know, we saw uh, Marshall kind of come out of the gates firing with some strikes there to start mm -hmm. the round. Uh, if you are if you are in the corner of Adrian Hayes here, uh, any tips you give him to make sure you kind of stay out of these grappling exchanges yes. and, uh, you know, and play his game plan? Yeah. So obviously you know he's going to throw some punches to close the distance, right? So you got to use your length here. got to use your what's good for you, right? Keep your distance, and then you should be able to hit him far away and hit him first before he comes in. And if he darts him like that, if you just throw down the pipe, you'll be able to hit him with straight shots. Hopefully you can stop him. So, uh, yeah, that would be my my suggestion there to Hayes. We are preparing for round number two of three, and uh, we'll see how this one goes. We'll see if, uh, if Hayes is able to, to even the tide here against a very tough Quintavious Marshall. All right, right away, meeting each other in the middle. There's a cross right away. Like I said, straight down the middle. Takes his time. South ball from Hayes. Here. Yes. Lands a big cat. Cross again. Cross, sorry, yeah. Yeah, third time there. Nice. It throws the body, tries to come up with the hook the top. Oh, that's good. Good exchange. Both gentlemen being able to like evade and counter. Ooh, big right hook there for Marshall. Lance. Yes. Nice jab there. Ooh, nice caught him again. Marshall caught him again. Good exchange. 30 seconds in. We got a lot of action early. Right away. Now going for that uh, trip there is Marshall. Going Brian's to his way in. Tries to go for an inside sweep. Hayes is uh, fighting valiantly to stop this, but man, he is, uh, he's, he's really got Marshall all over it. Yes. 
He's like he's like stuck on there. Good, good, good sweep there. Good job. As this fight hits the ground, uh, uh, one minute into the second round. Yeah. Trying to hold on the head there. There you go. Marshall's able to pop his head out. Pulses up nicely. Again, there's no ground to pound here. As it is Quintavious Marshall on top once again in this second round, starting to, to go for some submissions, starting to, to go for that finish here. He can't ground a pound to the head, as you mentioned. Yeah, and it looks like he has a, I can't see it on that side. Looks like it, maybe he's trying to go a lock for like either Americana. Americana, yeah. I believe. There yeah. you go. Nice try, good escape. Marshall's doing a great job, like just going after one submission after another and staying on top. Next, next thing to the next thing, listening to his corner. Yeah, he is. And hear his corner yelling. So it's it's really good to see like you know people that can be coached. You know. Now for, in so, full mount. Yeah. For someone that doesn't claim a coach. They really they <laughs> really want that Americana over here. Yeah. They're still going for it. Minute to go. We'll see if Hayes is able to to survive this round. A real bad spot. If he can, if he can just stop. Hold, he's got, oh, yeah. he got that grip there. He got there. that grip. <laughs> just the same. 45 seconds to go here. There you go. Comes up higher. Trying to break the grip. Oh, it loses it. That's okay. Let's we'll see if Hayes is able to, to escape out here. Nice. He's in about 30 seconds left to, to survive here. Yes. And now uh, the corner is calling for the Kimura over here. Yeah. And right now, like, Adrian Hayes is just trying to survive and keep the distance and keeping that grip. He already hears the way he's going for it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And if he could just get his hips out, he can, you know, go in the half guard or something and, and invade this. And he's got, and Marshall is kind of high where he can get the little sweep there, but. Almost uh, the bell. We'll see if he goes for this uh, yeah. armbar at the last minute, but oh. not enough time. Transition, transition, man. Very impressed with Marshall's ground game yeah. right now. The way he's uh, transitioning and, get, and fighting for that takedown. And here is the replay. Sam, take us through it. Yes. Both gentlemen come out changing right away. And Hayes does a great job landing these straight punches right down the middle. But Marshall doesn't care. He comes out there with exchange right away. As soon as he gets stacked with one. And, and right here you can see he gets a weird double leg I've never seen very wide. But yeah, I see he's trying to trip the out leg, outside leg. Uh, and then, you know, that's uh, Adrian's fault for not, you know, getting his back flat off of the cage. You know what I'm saying? And, and fighting for that underhook to slam him up. So, so two rounds in the in the books, I believe, uh, for Marshall here as, uh, you know, Hayes is going to have to figure out a way to yes. get a finish here. Yep. And I think step number one is is, in, is, is, is avoiding these these engagements yes. where he's getting too close, he's getting clinched up. Yeah. He's got to, you know, it's not a huge cage here, so yeah. not a lot of room to, to move, but he's got to figure it out. Got to figure out that, you know, circle, stay in range, and land a big one, I guess. Yeah, and then I'm, 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 I'm waiting to see how if Marshall can keep, can keep that pace up, which he's been doing the last two rounds. Neither uh, of these guys look like they're too bad, yeah. worse for the wear going into mm -hmm. the third. Because that's a lot of grappling. I'll, I'll be tired already. I want to quit already. <laughs> <laughs> Referee Brent McKeon gets it started round three, final round here. Try to throw the right hand, very wide stance. Marshall goes in for the double leg. Nice, nice right hand there yes. from Hayes. Guys still trying to figure each other out. They go, they go for the exchange, a little wild exchange yeah. on both sides. You got to watch over committing and leaving, yeah. leaving yourself open for the, yeah. uh, that clinch. Oh, head nice kick attempt. The head kick there. And again, like those guys that have to learn from experience, not reach for the punches. I mean, if you don't hit your target, you don't hit your target. You don't have to reach, and that leads up for like counters. The head movement from Marshall yeah. is pretty good. Very, very impressive. But there he he lands a two piece there. Yeah. Is Hayes? Mm -hmm. There you go. Sees it again. And that one. His body might have hurt him, Sam. Yeah. Marshall definitely tries to dart in. This crowd's <laughs> starting to get a little uh, frenzied up here yeah. every time that Hayes lands. Uh, definitely the best round so far for Hayes. Yes, that definitely. Had. Right away when he shoots in, Hayes does a good job. Now he gets the underhook, right? This is a, this is a, this is going to make or break this round in my yes. opinion. If he gets the takedown, it works in the single leg. Oh, he's able to get it. About a minute, 15 seconds in, comes the takedown from Marshall. I, I think for the up until this point, I had this one for Hayes in this last round. Yes. But, uh, you know, quite a bit of time left still, a minute yes. and a half. 
and then I, you got to work right away to stand up. You know you're gonna get ground pound. So he's got to get, got to get, got to get. He's already into the cage where he doesn't like, you know, bury himself in there. But he's got to work right now. Start working the hips and getting out of there, getting to full guard and pushing the guard. Um, pushing in Marshall off of him. Because you know Quintavious Marshall at this point is more than happy yes. to just sit right here yeah, yeah. for the last minute. Yeah, I mean, you got, you got to do something else and just take these. And that, But again, two rounds of just being pummeled like um, under a grappling like this, is, it takes a toll on you. One minute to go here as uh, big body shots yeah. being landed now. And, and then those hurt too. They're, they're like, I don't even like just, you know, brush them off. But those hurt, those body shots. Oh, it advances over to uh, side control now yes. with 48 seconds to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's trying to go again, is it? Oh, no, End him out. Yes. As, uh, at this point, you know, Hayes is going to have to kind of go for broke. Mm -hmm. Easier said than done, yes. as we said over here. Marshall steadily attacking that arm. Marshall uh, with about 20 seconds to go, working for this finish. Yeah. One of these gentlemen about to go to 2-0. and oh. And it's looking like it's going to be Marshall at this point. Mm -hmm. He's fighting for that arm. So, uh, oh. Final few seconds. You're going to get this arm, but he's not. He slipped out. But right Again. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. Man. Right this at the fight, bell. Gentlemen. Man. That yeah. was a uh, that was a lot of good scrambles, good yes. work from both men. Marshall's mm -hmm. grappling is uh, elite. Yes, very good display of like how to attack from the ground once you get your opponent there. The guys are exchanging here. Hayes hands up, hands up that one two hurts him a little bit. Then you see Marshall try to dart yes. in and bum rush, but not able to do it. But uh, after this, uh, the uh, Marshall finally gets him down and kind of works him like he's been doing the other two rounds, just working that body, working that body, and getting mount and working for that Americana. You know, one thing about these uh, these amateur bouts before they reach the advanced scale, I yeah. bet these guys' ribs on bodies are just <laughs> so sore the next day because there's no other target for you to hit. Good at sportsmanship being shown by these guys at yeah. this point. And uh, you can tell that Hayes is disappointed. He's uh, he yeah. pretty sure he knows he's probably not going to come up short on this one. But again, a very, very tough assignment tonight in Quintavious Marshall, yes. who will likely move to 2 and 0. Oh. Uh, let's find out for sure if he will. Let's go to our man, Jeff Hobbs, for the decision. Ooh, ladies like and gentlemen, we are headed to a judge's scorecard. Judge one saw this out 30 25, while judges two and three saw it 30 26. All three for your winner by unanimous decision, Quintavious Vita Boo Marshall! Two 10 8 rounds uh, yes. on one judge's card oh, and yeah. one 10 8 for, uh, round from the other two judges. Yeah. Um, that's something I was going to ask you about a little bit, but we'll, we'll get to that maybe here in just a moment yeah. after we hear from our winners. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined here by your winner via unanimous decision, Quintavious Marshall. 2 and 0 now after making the switch from the jujitsu, What have you continued to learn in getting these victories here in the cage? Um, I'm not gonna take up too much time on the microphone. I just wanna say one thing. This camp, this point in my life was the absolutely, it was the most difficult, it was the most difficult experience of my life. And I just wanna say, thank Lord Jesus Christ that I made it through. And I didn't think it was possible. David versus Goliath, whatever your battle may be, you'll get through it. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all make some noise for Quintavious 